Good evening. We're Tired Lion, and you're, we're talking to youth today from Falls Festival 2016. Yeah, nailed the Chippewa. year. Starting strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not ahead of myself. <laughs> you know. So, guys, you've had a really huge year of touring this year. How has it been, and what have been some highlights? I just love getting lost um, in places that we don't know really what we're doing. Um, also leaving like important passes behind, that's fun. Um, <laughs> flights getting delayed. Missing flights? Oh. Ooh, how many missed flights? Two. Mm. Two, yeah. It's not too bad. But lucky we're like um, platinum now with Virgin, so they let you, they realise like most musicians become platinum with Virgin <laughs> because they realise musicians are useless. They'll miss flights, you know, they won't declare bags, <laughs> they do all sorts of things, so they make allowances. It's so fun hearing you say we're platinum with those sunnies on. <laughs> Just ultimate yeah, rock star. we're platinum. <laughs> Speaking of that, every time me and Ethan, because we always catch a cab together, uh, an Uber, to the airport, we line up in the priority lane. And they always give us these really weird looks like, what are you doing? Like people people try and push in front of us and then Ethan's just like, platinum, dude. <laughs> platinum. Just flush the card. If only that was what it was like in real world, you know, just for everything. Yeah, it would be sick. Where would you like abuse platinum the life. power if you could just platinum uh, the, anything? The pub, probably. The pub? <laughs> probably at restaurants and, yeah. Jumping. Zambreros. Yeah. Shopping centres. <laughs> oh, I hate waiting in lines. Most, most <laughs> Yeah, I Centrelink. Centrelink. <laughs> Centrelink. Yeah, yeah, definitely platinum. Centrelink. <laughs> platinum. I don't need. Anyway. I don't need to apply for jobs <laughs> because I'm platinum. <laughs> That's an automatic job interview. That's the dream. Yeah. So, is there any places that you haven't been to that you're hoping to get to maybe next year or coming up? Oh, it's me. That's for me. Uh, oh, hello. Stereo. Screaming Eagle. Um. <laughs> I don't know, maybe somewhere like Northern Territory in Australia would be yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, because we haven't been there. Purely awesome. just to explore that area, that'd be sick. I more was thinking Tassie. more Iceland, that would be a vibe. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, where do you want to go? Yeah, I'd say like keeping it in Australia. Oh, I Japan. think I da- Darwin's like the only place we haven't been to yet. So, I don't know, maybe fall should it expand. Yeah. It's a little hot tip for you, Falls. Head up to Darwin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Does it? So you had the um, agoraphobia come out semi recently. Um, it's touching on mental illness. Is that something that you guys like consciously as a band are trying to use your music to talk about, or is it just something that came naturally that you wanted to write about? I don't think it was a planned thing at all. Um, obviously, it was a song that was written because. Uh, few of us in the band were like going through stuff like that at the time but yeah like anything we do in the band isn't really based on oh what should we do this time around should we go for something like along that vein or that vein it was just a lot of shit was going on at the time and I guess that song was a product of it yeah really. so just all from like personal experiences. yeah personal experiences yeah yeah do you find that touring so extensively like you have over the last year is rough as musicians and like balancing it all with mental health taking a bit more extra care looking after yourselves i guess it's definitely helped me with my mental health because i'm not very good at traveling and i get like pretty bad social anxiety as well so like back in the day the idea of getting a plane going to i think our first ever trip was to sydney actually as a band back in 2012 that was like a huge deal and like I wasn't coping very well but I think because we do it so often now it's sort of come like a bit of a routine yeah but still it it doesn't really get easier um so you have your good days you have your bad days yeah for sure do you have any advice for other musicians that are you know starting to pick up their pace as well on ways to take care of yourself and look out for each other I reckon people learn early on I don't, I don't know. It's not really It's not really a good message considering I'm drinking a beer right now. But I remember when we first started out, it was like, this is sick. It's just like one big party. And I think you learn pretty quickly. It's it's not really like that. Like, um, bands do well when they're like hard workers and, you know, they like go for it and give it their all. And like, I think you've got a, I don't know, there's like, like 
it sounds lame, but like meditation and just like chilling out and stuff like that is probably the best types of things you can do when you're touring. Yeah. And like, I mean, we come from Perth, which is so far away from the rest of Australia. So like with all time differences and stuff like that, it gets pretty hectic. So initially it was pretty fun just to get wasted and like, you know, muck around for a while. But yeah, you learn pretty quickly that you've got to like, I don't know, just Pace yourself. Yeah, pace, pa- head. yeah, you gotta have a level head with it all, and like just give it, give it your all. Yeah, it's not and hugely. And talk about it as well. Like, there's been times. I think it was only the last tour that we went on. We were on the plane, and I, I was like, guys, I'm so anxious, and I cried, and then I felt better. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it, getting it out almost helps. Um, but yeah, I reckon just eat healthy and try not to think too much. I know it's easier said than done. Go for walks. Ethan's been doing a lot of that lately. Seems to be doing a good job going for walks. Did you say something? I wasn't listening. I said going for walks has been helping you lately. Oh, yeah. Walks are sick. (laughs) He was meditating. (laughs) So meditating and a good support. He's getting his chakras uh, in chakras in line, getting the uh, the crystals (laughs) out. Not to be confused with chakras. Very different. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Um... One of the other film clips was a bit of a parody off of Friends. Do you guys, like, have each other penned as what Friends character each of you guys would be? Who's a Ross? <laughs> I haven't ever watched Friends, so I can't answer Ooh. this question. Sorry, guys. See, Ethan, Sorry. Ethan was like the Spielberg behind that video clip. He was just like, man, we should, like, not my friends, we should make it, like, Friends and, like, this whole, like, disparity between the meaning of the song and, like, how Friends, they're all so close. But, like... I think in the clip I got cast as Joey. I think yeah, right? I think you're Joey. And like you're I, more I of a Ross. I'm more of a Ross. <laughs> like I'm probably the smartest. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just saying that. Over opinionated, talks a lot. Who? Um, <laughs> very smart though. Who's the stupid guy? Probably me. No, Joey. no, no, no. Like who's the stupid guy? Joey. Probably Ethan. Uh, that, Ethan's that's me. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, Ethan. I could yeah. be one of the girls as well. I guess. Yeah, you're. Nick's Monica. more of a Phoebe. I, I guess no, I don't know who I'd be in girls. About like having clean things. Like All about kitchen. that routine. Uh, Monica, like OCD. OCD person, yeah. <laughs> I dig that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> Excellent. I just got cast as no one, but that's no, fine. You can be fe- is there a Phoebe? You I'm not Phoebe. Phoebe's way too chill. I'm more a Monica. I'm OCD sorry. over the top. I'm really Never sorry. relax. I can't relax. How do you try and relax on the road? Is that all about the meditating as well? Music, I just listen to heaps of music. Elliot Smith gets me through quite a lot. Excellent. Chucking the shirt in the window, blacking out the sun. Yeah. I think, think, can you share a bit of the mic there? No, I'm I'm just talking like a backer. I'm not a mic stand. Why am I in charge? (laughs) Distant. Yeah, now we're done. So what does 2017 have in store? Any more touring? Any new music? What's tour the plan? Secrets. Lots of tour secrets. Ooh. I think there's yeah, there's lots of tours coming up. Is there? Up. <laughs> yeah. Sick. That we can't yeah, talk things. about. I haven't checked the uh, the rundown. Yeah, it's basically a lot of stuff we can't talk about coming up. Great. Really. <laughs> Making for really we're good. We're recording in the studio with some um, wizards, which will be pretty cool, which we can't disclose right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think the big thing for us is we're recording an album, awesome. and hopefully, if everything works out, that'll be out next year, and that will be awesome because that's what we've wanted for so long. I feel like it's taking quite the time, but we're getting there. Almost album time. Yeah. Do you reckon end of the year? Do we have any? Who knows? No, it's not really, it's not really our call. I mean, year, put I it this way: it's it's put my it's money on the table. it's like written, and we just got to record it. Excellent. So it's almost there. And when it's yeah. done. <laughs> Class. <laughs> All right, well, we're setting out the year of 2016. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Ooh. Same as it is every year, stop biting your nails. <laughs> <laughs> How's that working out? Uh, it hasn't in 25 years. I've still, I, I've stopped biting my nails twice. Once I was on the holidays in Bali, and when I got braces for the first couple of months, I couldn't bite my nails, but I found a way. So that's mine, but it won't happen. Mine stopped biting my cuticles. Oh. Uh. So... You look at that right now. Look at that nasty business there. Close up. That's pretty bad. I'm serious. What is your real resolution? My real resolution. Come on. Have some heart. Be a better person. Be a a better person. Don't be a fuckhead to everyone. All right, (laughs) Ethan. That's a pretty solid one. I actually haven't thought about this. Um, What would be good for me? I can give Um, Mac DeMarco his hat back. That would be a nice resolution. Shut up, mate. Um, I want to get a puppy, okay? That's mine. Oh, beat to that. I've got a year to do it. I'm going to get a puppy. (laughs) 
Um, mine's actually more of a personal growth thing. Um, probably write more and write s- tunes that aren't particularly like um, what everyone expects from Tideline. So just outside yeah. the box sort of thing. Just pushing um, elements And a bit also more. I want to get really, really healthy. I'm talking like at least 30 minutes a day jogging and uh, eating. Oh, I got a... Um, sort of a home brand Nutribullet for Christmas so I want to get on the <laughs> health juices and yeah. I want to do it properly excellent you know? Joyce oh very excellent resolutions well thanks Enjoy. so much for talking to us today guys and good luck with your New Year's resolutions thanking <laughs> thank you. you thanks awesome thank you.